And starting the news tonight, there is pressure on government to look for a forthright investor to turn around the once vibrant consolidated diamond mines in Akwitia, currently guarded by national security. After acquiring the mine and its assets from the Divestiture Implementation Committee at $17 million in 2011, GCD, owned by Jospond Group, former top management of the company, have accused the owner of selling off production plants as scrap. Blind, diagnosed of Parkinson's disease and stroke, bedridden 69-year-old Benjamin Edufo was the technician at the recovery unit of one of the Diamond's production plant. He currently resides in one of the rooms in the mine village with his family. Actually, concerning the date, it's 1999. Then I was sent to recovery while I was at the plant. So I worked there for almost 15 years. Rotten, ruined, it's dilapidated. Number 12 pan plant, one of the plants that uh, contains the concentrate that refines the ore into diamond sold too many one of the only standing four plants remaining here in the concession owned by the current administration of the great consolidated diamonds company the rest three have turned into scrap and have been sold off gcd was put on divestiture in 1989 by the dan pndc government with marigold limited eventually winning the bid the company was to be divested in 2000 when government changed. The then NDC administration put on hold the divestiture program but later divested to Sapper's company but the company could not operate leading to its closure in 2006. In 2009, baits were opened again of which GCDL belonging to the Jospond Group won for $17 million. 2011, the Great Consolidated Diamonds Limited GCDL reactivated operations at the defunct Ghana Consolidated Diamonds Limited at Aquitia in the Eastern Region at a ceremony which was graced by the then Vice President John Dramani Mahama. They brought in a lot of uh, excavators, bulldozers, and these are uh, heavy duty machines, promising that immediately. The handover, the company is going to start operations. Unfortunately, after the ceremony, within a month, all the machines were taken back to Accra. And since then, they never brought them back. GCDL, an arm of the Jospon Group, belonging to businessman Joseph Xiao Ajipon, by a sale and purchase agreement document cited by TV3, was required to make an initial payment of $1.7 million to the Divestiture Implementation Committee within 21 days, representing 10% of the sale offer. Document showed GCDL had paid only $2.7 million and has flouted its own regulations to pay the rest of the money in installment. <clears throat> Maza, uh, Mr. Sian's problem is that when he took over, the manager who was then manager before the closure of the mine, he still allowed the same manager to continue. Meanwhile, that manager is not competent. After the Jospon Group took over the mines, it promised to invest $100 million in a five-year multi-purpose program, which was expected to produce 1 million characters of diamonds per annum within the period. GCDL promised to create 2,500 direct jobs and 50,000 indirect jobs. As we speak, only 80 direct staffs have been employed, 60 of whom are security men manning the remaining assets. Since 2011, not a single character of diamond has come out of the concession despite new data indicating 25 million carats prospecting with 11 million ready to be mined. Former general manager of the company, Delali Kabi, says Jospon has sold two of the plants as scrap with little capital injection into the company. The shareholder, as I was told, gave a note 
to somebody to come and harvest the scraps. So it was not like a, um, okay, a tender was opened and whoever wins the bid, that's I'm telling you that um, it was not like we are selling it as so much, so can I pay? He insists Jospon is simply not ready for the mines. He, he took um, a good business decision to acquire that place, but I think if, if it is the financial capability that was lacking, I don't know. But for me, from where I sit, I think that it's just, just lack of interest at a stage. Government in 2019 cancelled the mining lease of GCDL over breaches in the mine agreement. For the residents, government must look elsewhere for a serious investor who will turn the mines around and bring back Aquitia. We are pleading and asking Nanadu, the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, as citizens of Aquitia, we are pleading with them. They have opportunity to create jobs for the people here, but not with GCDGL. Because they had nine years, they did not help, they did not spend 13 million, not even one million dollar. I can say that. When contacted, the current managing director of GCDL, Enoch Bar, admitted difficulty in turning around the mines because of less investment by the owner just after agreeing to an interview to be conducted at the mines on the side of the story Enoch Bar declined with explanation that the owner had issued an express instruction that no one should comment on the matter the stand alone one and many workers especially the S workers who are still strong enough and believe they can work for the company wants current management to invest in revamping this plant to give them jobs to be able to cater for their family. Will the company do that? It remains a million dollar question and answered. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Great Consolidated Diamonds Mines, Aquitia.